Hello, this is Glowing Golem, and welcome back to a Minecraft tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this. This is a system that changes the direction of the arrow, arrow by pressing these buttons. So as you can see, it's on the downwards arrow, which is this one. And if I press this one to the right, it will then change it to the arrow to the right. It also works for the other ones as well. So to the left, up, and down. So one problem with this design is that this block doesn't actually come out into hair, which I wanted to do. However, with the terracotta blocks here, um, you can extend them and push them, but they don't stick to anything. Which, yeah, I can't push the block out from the back. But anyway, if we go around to the back, this is the redstone here. So I'm not sure if it's as compact, compact as it can be, but it's pretty good. So what we have is when you press either the um, this one or this one, the output will go into here and then come across and power these, which will extend this row, this, these pistons all the way. What it also does, or what happens when you press this one only, is it will come out through here, down this yellow line of redstone, and into this bit here, which will power one piston, pushing it back by one. So, if I put it to this one, if I then press this, you can see it goes all the way over and then back by one. So that's how it works. Now, how do you build it? Okay, so I've copied what I had over there to here without all the redstone. So the first thing you want to do is put the pistons in. So um, they go here like this, and then you need one here, and then on the other side, you come out to, where was it? You come out to here, and then do three like this. So just like that. Then what you need is um, temporary blocks here to place pistons up against just like that, and then on top of these pistons you'll want observers, just like that. And then it's the same on the other side, so starting from here, you put temporary blocks to put pistons on, and then observers, just like that. So now what you want to do is build a line of blocks like this, and then one coming up like this, up, and then three slabs like that, and then repeat this on the other side. So up, over, and three slabs. Then you want to place redstone dust in front of the repeaters and going up this and along the slabs. and then repeaters on two ticks in the other two spaces. Now we're going to connect up the input from each of the buttons. So we want a repeater on one tick out of each of them, like this. Then these two are going to come in to power a redstone on this block here, and then this one here. Then you'll want a repeater here on two ticks. Then from here, this one's a bit different, you'll want to have it like this, so this one will power this block, and then this one needs to come around 
from the top to power it as well. So now if we place in the terracotta blocks, which need to be in um, up, left, um, then it needs to be to the right or from that side and then this one needs to be facing downwards like that. If we now do this the top and button, bottom buttons should work. So if we press the bottom one it will switch to down, if we press the top one it will switch to up. And then at the moment these two are doing the same as the this one's doing the same as this one and then the bottom one's doing the same as this one. So what we need to do to change that is have a repeater coming out of this one and a repeater coming out of this one like that. Then this one will go into a block which then goes into redstone and comes over three and then into a repeater set to four ticks and then comes down to power this. So it comes down and I need to yeah, almost. And then one, two, three, four. So then out of this one we need a block here, which will then power the redstone dust below it. Then it will come down to power this one here. So this one needs to be no, that one needs to be on one tick. Need two four tick repeaters and then two bits of redstone dust. And that is all. Now if we press the side ones, they will also work. So there we go. We have a working arrow system. And this will also work with changing it as different blocks so you can just if I wanted this one to be orange, I can then just put orange there just to say that it's going to be orange, then change it to that arrow and then press it and it will be orange. Now one more thing is if you place three blocks here, one block here and three blocks here, then that will stop you from being able to see stuff out the back from when the blocks go transparent and you can like see through them as they're moving. But yeah, anyway, that's going to be it for this video tutorial. Hope you liked it. Make sure you click the like button if you enjoyed it. And I will see you next time. Bye.